Can I, can I have a Vintas, please? Can I, can I have a Vintas, please? Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today, we're doing a quick dive back into the past, covering some of the OG Aventus clones and seeing if they're still worth checking out if you don't want to pay Aventus money to smell Aventus like. So in front of me, I have six of the first batch of fragrances that I feel like really got hyped as Aventus clones. So let's check these out one by one and see how they stack up. Now, before we jump into these six, I will say that there were fragrances before these that had an Aventus style to them, but these are the ones that really started to get that hype train going. Fragrances that came out before these were really only known by a few people that were really into fragrances in the fragrance community at the time. So those fragrances I'm not gonna cover here today because most of you would be like, what is it? And also they're not quite up to par with these ones either for the most part, so. Now at this point in time, clones have been going on for a while and uh, it gets to be an old thing. You know, clones are just like, oh, played out a little bit. And sure you still get some from time to time that are really good and they surprise everybody at how much quality they bring for the price, but it, it doesn't have that new factor, that newness that it used to have. Because a lot of you may not have been around when this started to kick off, or maybe you view it differently, but the way that I viewed it when clones really started to take off and kind of, you know, hit the mainstream, we'll say, was this, this sort of excitement that a lot of people had that they might be able to buy fragrances for just $30 that smelled like something that cost over 300. So you had people everywhere just like, oh my God, I hope they clone this. I hope they clone that. I hope they clone my favorite fragrance. Oh. And then as time went on and, and more clones came out and more 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 and more, people started to dislike them. I mean, some people dislike them right from the get go, but I'm just saying it's one of those things. It gets too big and then you got a lot of people who are like, you know what? F that. So let's just start checking these fragrances out. We're just going to kind of go through these casually, not a really huge in-depth breakdown of each one or anything. Uh, first up, Zara Vibrant Leather. This is the original bottle. They re-released this fragrance a number of times. They've changed up the presentation, but it's the same fragrance. Vibrant Leather has a really simple note breakdown. It just has bamboo, leather, and bergamot, super simple. You get a lot of that bergamot in the opening. It's very fresh, it's sweet, it's juicy. The bergamot does give you a little bit of a pineapple kind of feel to it. Uh, that's because pineapple accords typically utilize a lot of bergamot in the construction of the accord. So it, it smells a little pineapple-y even though there is no pineapple or no pineapple accord officially. So this one's really cheap. It's retail $29.90 for the largest size bottle. You can get a smaller size for less than that. So it doesn't cost much at all. And uh, it's gonna be more fruit forward. You're not really gonna get much of that smokiness that you might expect to find in an Aventus style fragrance. Yeah, there's leather in here, but there's not birch. So as I said, fruit forward, sweet, a uh, bit fresh as well. One of the problems with this one is the performance. Now, it lasts a decent amount of time on my skin. So you can pick it up after a while, you know, four or five hours, you can still pick it up, but the projection is weak. The quality's there, the scent profile's there, projection is not. You could try to spray it on your clothing and get a little more out of it, but for the price, I can't bag on it too much. Let's go with another cheap one after that. Insurrection Pure 2, this is from Ray and Tradition. This, if memory serves me correctly, is one of, if not the first, Aventus clones that I bought. And I remember at the time when I got this in fresh and I sprayed it on, I thought, man, 20 some dollars? That is fan friggin' tastic I don't know that anybody's gonna get better than that for the price. They did, but at the time, that's what I thought. This is another one that's gonna be more fruit forward. Not as much smokiness here. You don't have any of that tartness from black currant either. So it doesn't come across as deep or as rich, obviously doesn't smell as expensive as Creed Aventus, but it's gonna get you in the same ballpark. It is not as high quality smelling to me as Vibrant Leather, but the performance is better with Insurrection to Pure. Between the two, I would probably go 
with the Rayan Tradition, just because it does project a bit better and last a bit longer, uh, both off skin and clothing than Vibrant Leather does. But in terms of just the, the quality, Vibrant Leather is nicer. Now, before we hit the three main chimichangas here, we're gonna check out Pineapple Vintage Intense from Parfums Vintage. Now, this one for the longest time has been my choice of uh, Aventa style fragrances, clones. If money is not an issue, then you would go with this one. The opening is great. It's very realistic smelling, bergamot, pineapple, obviously, I mean, the name of the fragrance is Pineapple Vintage, and it has a nice balance of that birch to that smokiness as well. So you get most all the facets from Creed Aventus represented here, and uh, the performance is fantastic as well. But it does not come without issues, so, Pineapple Vintage, easily, far and away, the most expensive fragrance here. I don't know exactly what this retails for right now. I guess I'll look it up. I did look it up. It goes for $139 for a 100 ml size bottle nowadays, and 50 ml is 85. So considerably more. $140 for this. The other three most expensive fragrances in this video today are under $40. So you could get all three of those, and it would be less than one bottle of this. Now my wife, loves the way this fragrance smells. She thinks it's absolutely amazing that pineapple opening gets her every single time. It's also really versatile. And it is, as I mentioned before, probably one of the best, if not the best, clones of Creed Aventus on the market. The problem, obviously, is the cost. Is it three or four times better than some of the other fragrances here? No, but it really just depends on how much you want to spend. My issue with Parfums Vintage is that they really just went ham on the Aventus clones. I, I couldn't tell you how many they have at this point. They have <laughs> an insane amount of clones of just Creed Aventus on top of a whole bunch of other fragrances. So at this point, I would say over 20. I don't know, I'll check. I'll check really quickly, let's see. My guess is gonna be 24. So you can filter by Aventus inspired fragrances on their website. Let's see how many they have. Emperor Galerius, Emperor Tiberius, Emperor Aurelius Noir, Emperor Severus Snape. Pineapple Vintage Intense, the one. So it's five. Pineapple Vintage Limited Edition, Emperor Maximus, Emperor Maximus Extrait, Intense Gold, Emperor Napoleon, that's 10. Expatch Intense, Emperor Extrait, Vanilla Intense King, King Intense, Pineapple Vintage Intense, X-Batch, Pineapple Vintage Noir, Pineapple Vintage Classic. Ah, oh, dang, 20 exact. So I was off by a little bit, but assuming that everything is on there and I didn't miss anything, 20. 20 Aventus clones and they are pricey. Pineapple Vintage Intense is actually one of the cheaper ones on there. Uh, it goes up to, I think, around $200, maybe even more. And at that price for an Aventus clone, it's, it's kind of hard to recommend. So Pineapple Vintage Intense, really like the fragrance, uh, but it's pricey and all that other stuff too. Now the three big ones, the three big kahunas, Afnan Supremacy, Silver, Al Haramein, Laventure, and Club de Nuit Intense Man from Armoff. These are the three that kind of pop into my mind when you just talk about uh, Aventus clones. They're like the first ones I think of. And they all three approach it a little bit differently, the cloning of Aventus. Price-wise, they're all pretty similar. I think that uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man is the cheapest and uh, the Afnan Supremacy Silver is the most expensive but it's not a big difference between the two. It's 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 something like six, seven dollars maybe. So the most popular of the bunch is Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is the Eau de Toilette. They also have an Eau de Parfum in the same bottle. It's the same fragrance. And then they have Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition, which is an Eau de Parfum. That's a different fragrance. So you have to be kind of careful there in the limited edition bottle, which looks the same, except it's Kind of a gray coloration and it says limited edition a little bit different and actually if you can find that one i think it's better it's a little bit smoother and uh has a little more depth to it overall i think it's the better fragrance of the two the opening is not quite as harsh it smells more pleasant don't pay crazy money for it it's not like astronomically better than this one but if you can find it for about the same price, I would say go for that one. So Club de Nuit Intense Man, this one has a good amount of smokiness in the opening. It's got this kind of lemon pledge, lemon cleaner vibe to it. It's a bit harsh, a little chemically, 
but if you wear it enough, you'll grow to not really care. And that opening doesn't last that long anyway, but a lot of people will hate on this fragrance for that opening because frankly, it's really not that pleasant. It's just you grow accustomed to it and then it doesn't bother you all that much. Uh, but if you've never smelled that before and you spray it on, give it a smell and you think, man, that's, that's actually, that kind of sucks. You're not the only one who has thought that. That's not a, it's not a crazy, crazy thing to think. The opening is it's a little rough and it can take some time to grow on you. Once that opening dies away though, Club de Nuit Intense Man improves dramatically. It's got a good amount of smokiness in there, a bit of sweetness. It cuts through the cold like nothing else. The performance is fantastic. It's gonna get you noticed. It's a big time compliment puller. That's why so many people buy it, so many people wear it, so many people run through their bottle and buy another and buy another. This makes arm off crazy money. So that's the most popular one, and that's the one you wanna go for if all you care about is compliments, and performance and you do prefer an Aventus style clone that does have a bit of that smoky nature to it. Now, if you want something that's a bit fresher, fruitier, sweeter, and maybe a little more natural smelling, if you wanna call it that, go with Lavensure. The performance here is still good. This is a Haramein, of course, and the price is about the same. This does not have as much of that woodiness, doesn't have as much of that smokiness as Club de Nuit Intense Man does. So if you're wanting something that's gonna, you know, pop a little bit more, go with the arm off. But if you want something that would have more versatility, potentially in uh, warmer weather situations, Go with this one. And then if you want something kind of down the middle a bit, go with Supremacy Silver. So this one doesn't lean as fresh as La Ventura for me, and it's not as smoky as Club de Nuit Intense Man. As I mentioned before, it's a little bit more expensive, but not that much more, five, six, seven dollars. It's not really a big deal. Performance on it is good. Presentation, I would say overall, Probably the best of the three. So that one is gonna give you a, a good quality, higher than something like Insurrection Pure, higher than something like Vibrant Leather, a better performance, and like I said, kind of splits the difference between the three. And when I say the two, I mean Laventure and Club de Nuit Intense Man. And then just really quickly, some other fragrances that have come out in these lines. So Insurrection 2 Pure, there is also Insurrection 2 Sport, comes in kind of a blue colored bottle. That one, or teal colored, that one is a clone of Aventus Cologne. And actually I think that Insurrection 2 Sport is better done than Insurrection 2 Pure. So if you want an Aventus Cologne clone, that'd be the one to get, Insurrection 2 Sport. Then there is Laventure Intense, which it's kind of six half dozen as far as that one or Laventure, they're pretty close. Uh, I mean, if they were the same price, maybe you go with Laventure Intense, get a little more performance out of it, but not a huge deal. And then I already talked about Club de Nuit Intense Limited Edition. There are other Club de Nuit fragrances, which are not uh, Aventus style fragrances. So as far as this video goes, they don't matter. But if you wanted a Silver Mountain Water clone, there's Club de Nuit Siage. If you want a Millicene Imperial clone, there's Club de Nuit milestone. So I think I rambled on long enough. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you for hanging with me today. And I guess as far as my personal opinions, which ones I would take, uh, I would suggest if you don't care about money at all, pineapple vintage intense or just the real thing. And outside of that, if you're looking for compliments and performance, Club de Nuit Intense Man is the way to go. If you want to go as inexpensive as possible out of these, I would go with uh, Insurrection 2 Pure. All right, I'm going for real this time. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another breakfast video. See you guys later.